Yeah, but you know, where's the rest of it? I'm gonna be straight with you, right? I did, I kept some back for essentials, you know what I mean? You mean ale? Yeah, but there's another there's another week's work in this. Oh. Let me just let me just pay you back in daily instalments, please. Well, man. it'll just have to do, won't it? Oh. Hey, I'll be coming out of your wages, that won't it, you big grass? I'm sorry, you just slipped. Do you know what we're all that about? We are Lizzie before we you're sucking up to her. I tell you if you're blaming me, brother. Right! Get out while you've still got a roof over your head. Go on, do one! And when are you gonna get with it? You've been knocking with the punters, you're a liability in here. Yeah, I'm sorry, I've just had a Bad day. Look, ring your dad. What? Just tell him you're going to Spain. I'll be, I'll be going to see you go, but... No, not Marlon. I can't take that off you, man. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be fine tomorrow. No, you won't. I, you know what? I, I've been there myself, and there's too many times I should have just taken a chance. No, I, it was a daft idea, and I probably won't even like it out there anyhow. Well, if you don't, you can come back, but it's, it's better to give it a go than regret not trying. Is it? Take it before I change my mind. This is brilliant, this man. And I promise I'll pay you back. No, you won't. Just clear this lot of them and call it quits. Has she said much to you about Andy? Does she talk about anything else? Still, if she has a crush, at least we can keep an eye on it. Aaron came over where I wrote work, right? Oh, God help us if she got involved with him. Apparently, he reckons Andy's a bit dodgy. He's both as bad as each other. You mean around women. Well, how do you mean? What really taking him that seriously? Well, whatever it is, we need to know. Hey, cop out of this. Just a sec. Mother! It's you. Why, what have you done now? It's a surprise, isn't it? I'll talk to you in a minute. What have I told you about surprises? Ah, but you like this one. Oh, John, I'm telling you, if you've brought a street dog home again... <laughs> I'll put it around the back if that's OK. Yeah, that's fine, mate. <laughs> so, what do you reckon? We look like a trailer park. <laughs> what do we want with one of them? Saves Andy trips him back and forth, doesn't he? What? He's going to be living here? No, only the odd night, just while we're mad busy. Oh. Well, it's not staying there. Not permanently. Oh, don't be tight, Mum. You know what it's like this time of year, having to get up half an hour before you go to bed? Of all the things to spend money on, John. No, it's fine. I've borrowed it. It's been blocking Sid Morgan's yard for months. If you don't mind, do you? I promise I'll keep out of your way. It's got everything, that. All the mod cons. Are you staying for tea? Uh, no, I think your mum's got enough fun. No, it's fine, isn't it, love? Yeah, it's fine, love. Yeah. Just get yourself out here. Chat. Supposing bird. Yeah, sorry. It's not your fault. I thought if I told her the truth, I could tell you before the wedding. Please tell me you didn't. Well, not about you. I can't keep pretending. It should be in pieces. I gave it my best shot. She worshipped the ground you walk on. You can't just turn around and say, ah, the joke's on you. She'll never be able to trust anyone again. I did it for her. I'd have been just as happy not getting married. No, you wouldn't. No matter how much anyone gives you, it's just never enough, is it? I stuck by her. When she lost the baby... She loved you way more than you deserve. If you can't be happy with that, then there's something wrong with you. <laughs> Do you think I'm that bad? Fine. I get it. Go on, Clyde, off him! Oh, about time, take him. Don't know why you even speak to him. Idiot. What did he want, anyway? Who knows? Well, if you missed any of this week's Emmerdale, you can catch up online, don't forget. Just go to itv.com forward slash ITV player. Or if you're on Virgin Media or BT Vision, you can get it on demand. Next, oh dear, Becky's feeling a bit queasy ahead of the big day in Coronation Street. And there's more trouble ahead for the staff in airline at 8 o'clock. <laughs>